Make some noise if you're from L.A., if you're from here. Okay. I'm also from L.A., and I don't know if you guys know, but outside of L.A., people do not care for this city. You know, if you had done that 30 seconds earlier, that would have been a great contribution. <laughs> Everyone, say your neighborhood right now. No, okay. I said I was from L.A., I was in New York, and a guy in the audience booed. And I was like, okay, well, where are you from? And the guy said, San Francisco. <laughs> I was like, this isn't your fight. Why are you <laughs> doing this? But for people who are from, I, I'm from LA, but it's, it's not my fault, if that helps. Like, I didn't move here with a dream. I was... I was born here after my parents gave up on theirs. Does that <laughs> make it any? No, they didn't. Okay, they didn't give up on their dreams. They actually, they believe in me too much. That's a problem that I'm dealing with right now. I, I, okay, this is what happened. I was, uh, I, I had to go to CVS. You guys know CVS, the pharmacy? Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I like the woo for CVS. <laughs> But I was at CVS, and, uh, and my mom called me, and I was like, hey, mom, let me call you back. I'm at CVS. I hang up the phone, and then I walk back to my apartment. I live walking distance from a CVS, not trying to brag about my lifestyle. <laughs> and uh, I get home, I call my mom back, and all excited, she goes, so what was your meeting about at CBS? <laughs> and I was like, no, mom, I was, I was at CVS. And she went, oh, okay, hold on one second. Let me tell your dad. She took the phone away from her mouth. She yelled to my dad in the other room. She was like, no, Dan, CVS. My whole walk home, they were talking about my big meeting at CBS. <laughs> and I was at CVS buying Vagisil. And <laughs> the women in here know what... No, everybody knows what Vagisil... It's so unfair. Only medication for a vagina, do they make it obvious in the name? <laughs> Think about it. Cialis, Viagra, Blue Chew, Mysterious, <laughs> Vagisil. You're not putting it in your eyes, you know that much. It's pretty clear. Blue Chew's a new one. Have you guys heard of Blue Chew? Yeah. One guy clapping for it, nice. <laughs> Other guys are like, I don't know any new boner technology. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't need that. It's chewable Viagra. It's a new chewable Viagra. Yeah, they, they did that. Um, so many diseases they still haven't cured, but <laughs> there's a Flintstones vitamin that gets you guys hard now, so that's good. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's even medication for your asshole, they treat with more dignity than vagina medication. Preparation H? What kind of charade is that? Call it Acetyl. Why are you? <laughs> it's also funny because Preparation H, like the name implies that you're preparing for something that hasn't happened. But anyone who's bought Preparation H knows that by the time you're going to go buy it, the Preparation is over. <laughs> it's over. Here, I'll switch gears. This is, ex I, this is exciting uh, for me. I uh, tried an oyster for the first time this year. Okay, a couple of weeks, everyone else is like, you don't know what the word exciting means. <laughs> this is what I, I went, my friend, she had a big, like, blowout birthday party where she rented this whole event space, and it had a dance floor and a DJ booth, but she didn't have a DJ in the DJ booth, what she had was a lady there live shucking oysters at the party. Yeah, so I guess before you turn 30, regular DJ. After you turn 30, oyster DJ is the move. <laughs> and so my friends knew I'd never had one, and they were like, hey, we'll, we'll prepare it for you, we'll do it the right way, which people who like oysters know. What happens is the oyster DJ, I don't know what it's called, so that's just what it is. <laughs> The oyster DJ cuts it out of the shell and then covers it in sauce and a bunch of little, like, toppings and stuff. And then you're supposed to throw it back because that's the sign of a good food, right? <laughs> if you have to cover it in shit. 
and then throw it to the back of your throat so it never touches your tongue. That's, that's a gourmet treat right there. And so my friend, she handed me the oyster, it was all prepared, and I went to throw it back, but the, the oyster DJ, she, she fucked up. She didn't, she didn't fully cut it out of the shell. So when I went to knock it back, all the sauce and the toppings went in my mouth, and the oyster was just dangling <laughs> out of the shell. So, so I, I had to tongue it out of the shell. I had to use my tongue. And I learned that I, I do not like oysters. And I also learned that I am for sure straight. I learned that. This guy knows what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on. And look, I know that I look and sound like I fall in some sort of gray area sexually. I know that, okay? I know a couple of you are thinking, well, why don't you try another oyster in like five years and see how you feel? I know. No, I'm a straight woman, and the more you say it, the less believable it sounds. But... No, you guys, you, you are fun. Uh, I have to admit, this is the, the first time I've talked out loud today, so this is pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I spent all of today re-watching uh, Love is Blind. Any other fans? Yeah. The rest of you guys, do you like read or something? What do you... Okay, if you don't watch it, you've heard of it, you know what it is, yeah, yes? Okay, I've been trying to get more friends to watch it so that I stop harassing audiences about it. And in my rewatching, I've noticed an interesting theme to the season before this last season. It seems like the producers went with an unspoken theme. And the theme seems to be, all the women on the show have huge titties. <laughs> People who've watched it back me up, come on. Nancy? Yeah, that's someone on the show. I'm not just calling out an audience <laughs> member being like, agree. But so I thought this would be a selling point for my friend because he's a self-professed tit guy. He's a tit. Man, look, I know it's 2023. A lot of us, we've moved past picking which part of a woman's body we like the best. I know that. But my friend is in his 40s. That message never made it to him. So he's a tit guy. So I went to him, I was like, hey, you gotta watch Love is Blind, all the women on it have huge titties. And he said, oh shit, and they're blind? <laughs> Who wouldn't watch that show? Oh, you guys are so fun, thank you so much! Keep it going for Logan Gunselman. <laughs>